Welcome to the Ameren. My name is Eric Caldwell. I'm the Chief Executive here at the Ameren Foundation. And for the last 12 years, I've been the Chief Curator of our museum. Right now, we're standing in our Pakime Gallery. One of the excavations that the Ameren Foundation is most famous for was conducted jointly with the Mexican government in the Chihuahuan city of Viejo Casas Grandes. That's located about here, about a three hours drive south of our international border. It was an excavation led by the Ameren Foundation's Charlie de Peso and his companion from the National Institute of Anthropology and History, Eduardo Contreras, with the Mexican government. Pakime was a town of several thousand people, and it flourished between 600 and 700 years ago. In the exhibit that you'll visit at the Ameren, we tried to give people a sense of that place. Pakime, in its day, was one of the most important social and political centers in northern Mexico and what we think of as the American Southwest. Today, it's so important that the United Nations has put it on the UNESCO World Heritage Site list. And if you ever happen to be traveling in Chihuahua, there is an absolutely beautiful museum that you can visit right next to the ancient town. For those of you who can't, I hope that you'll come to the Ameren. What we're trying to do in this exhibit was give visitors an opportunity to appreciate what it would be like to visit Pakime back when it was uh, in its heyday. So the town was made of adobe and rammed earth. The walls were three feet thick. And when you visit these, you'll see these walls are about a foot and a half. So we could only produce them about half scale. They had massive overhanging wooden beams. These are ponderosa pine logs. They use ponderosa pines and a variety of species of white and yellow pine. And they lived in these rooms with all sorts of nooks and crannies where, among other things, they would make a bed for themselves in their home. This is actually the average size of a bed that we excavated, the Ameren Foundation, at Pakime itself. So it is, you see it's quite a bit above the floor. They did have staircases and other stairwells to get up on that bed platform. And they did actually have, uh, when we excavated under those beds, evidence of fire and coals. So that would help keep those beds warm at night. Because they were multiple stories and they had cooking fires on every floor, it was really important to have good ventilation. So they did construct windows to allow airflow through the rooms. And they would have doors going off in different directions. Uh, if you've visited many of the ancient places of the Southwest, you know that T-shaped doorways are very common. They were very common at Pakime. They were very common in Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, and Utah. They also had rectangular shaped doors. And they uh, built fireplaces for their cooking uh, and heating needs. The pot that I'm holding right here is a typical vessel that they would have made. Uh, this piece was made about seven centuries ago. And you'll see that there's this head of a macaw on it. One of the fascinating things about Pakimi was they were raising three different species of bird. Scarlet macaws with those bright red heads and a rainbow of plumage. Military macaws with bright green heads and turkeys. And those birds get celebrated in their artwork. Other things that get celebrated in their artwork include um, certain important religious figures. On the opposite face of this pot, we see a representation of the feathered serpent, a important god to many people all across ancient Mexico and even into portions of the American Southwest. One of the very interesting things about the town of Pacume was the incredible civil engineering that went into the construction of the site. For instance, the water system. There is a fresh water spring about two miles away from the ancient town. And that spring was producing several thousand gallons. And they actually engineered what I think we could call aqueducts. Traveling across the landscape, lined with stone to bring that fresh water to the town for people to go get water right outside their front door. Another one of the amazing things in the town was this walk-in well, which was excavated in one of the older sections of the town perhaps all the way back into the 13th century. This well descends about 50 feet into the ground, and this is a photograph after excavations. Those are the stairs that the Pakimans themselves excavated into the ground, took them down to the water level. It was probably something of a really important place in the community to celebrate water and its productivity and what it means to the ancient Pakiman people who were farmers and depended on rain and depended on water and depended on the Rio Casas Grandes to raise their crops and feed their community.